Hey guys, we've got a uh, bike in here from uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We're doing uh, one of our 110 hop-up kits on it. Uh, we pulled our cylinders and stuff off, uh, pulled the heads off yesterday. We had already sent some uh, cores out, got them diamond cut. And uh, we'll go to inspect the crankshaft. Anytime whenever we're doing uh, one of our uh, big bore kits or doing any type of engine work, we're checking a lot of things. Uh, the run out, uh, it's, it's, it's probably borderline uh, needing to be replaced for at 6 thousandths. In reality, I think the spec on this is going to be 4 thousandths uh, in a true end stand. There is a difference between in a true end stand and in the, uh, in the case itself. What it boils down to, as long as we're supporting the crankshaft from either side and checking run out, we're actually only allowed about 4 thousandths. However, I'm thinking the spec is either 10 or 12 for it being inside of the engine. The reason for uh, the, the large variance in spec is as you rotate the engine around, the pistons are traveling up and down. There is enough ring tension to actually pick the crankshaft up. I can actually feel it pick up here. I can pick the crankshaft up uh, to cause it to have a larger uh, spec than it should. In reality, if we was to take the cylinders off, all of a sudden we get a totally different reading. So we're at 6,000 here. As we spin the crankshaft around, all of a sudden it'll get to a, a spot to where the connecting rods become locked up. Basically it's where the, uh, the crankshaft has gotten slightly what we call scissored. Something that uh, it's pretty odd on this one. We also, when we're checking run out, we check the run out on the, uh, the compensator side as well. Even though the snout difference is gonna be the same from flywheel to the end, from flywheel to the end. However, when I was checking uh, the compensator side, we had nine thousandths of run out. So basically, uh, like I said, the, the flywheel we're assuming is done what we call somewhat shifted. That's what's causing their connecting rods to be in a little bit of a bind here. So we ended up having to pull the engine out. Uh, we're gonna replace our crankshaft assembly uh, with a new one and double check it. But as you can see, uh, if you do a big board kit on this thing, it may be fine for another 1,000 miles, 2,000 miles, 5,000 miles, but eventually this thing is going to come apart and create some problems. Always double check yourself on these uh, flywheel assemblies. Thanks.